Some protesters say this isn't just about the death penalty, it's about process. Passions and tempers flared outside the Justice Center. Dozens of officers also staged outside to maintain the peace, even from the rooftops. And there is no question that Keller is unfit to be a judge. Protesters want a judge to be punished. They say a man died at her hands, all because a last-minute appeal didn't appeal to her schedule. She was at home with an oven repairman, and they were expecting, they're always expecting last minute appeals when there's an execution day. So for her to show that callous disregard for human life, that's not, as a taxpayer in Texas, I don't want her to have a job anymore. Judge Sharon Keller was the only judge who could hear a last minute appeal to spare the execution of Michael Wayne Richard, a high school dropout who was convicted of raping and killing a mother. His lawyers frantically tried to file the last minute appeal in 07, but the presiding judge of the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals, Keller, told a court staffer, quote, we close at five. Four hours later, Richard was executed. For her to say we close at five when a man's life is on the line, that's just so wrong. Keller faces five judicial misconduct charges. Judge Keller's judicial career has lasted 15 years. That is obviously now on the line. The trial is expected to last three to five days. From the Justice Center, I'm Karen Grace, Kins 5 Eyewitness News.